I've tried to write this book as a journey through Warwickshire and when I say Warwickshire I also mean Coventry, Solihull and most of eastern Birmingham because we, we use the old county of Warwickshire but it's as much a book for ramblers and historians and landowners as for botanists and it really is, it explains how Warwickshire has come to look and feel the way it does today with very heavy reference to its wildflowers. So the second part of the book is a checklist of nearly 1,800 species that are natives or, or long-established uh, introductions of Warwickshire. And it's colour-coded so that you can see which of the species are most rare and in need of conservation. And this allows us to identify which are the best wildlife sites, uh, how to manage the best wildlife sites, and really just to make sure the best ones don't get developed or destroyed because a lot of wildflower habitat is under a lot of threat at the moment. It's the third, I suppose, in a sequence of important books about the wildflowers of Warwickshire that began in the middle of the 19th century, uh, progressed through a rather important book that was published in 1971 called A Computer Mapped Flora. This is taking the thing a step further because it not only catalogues and chronicles the wildflowers of Warwickshire as they are today and therefore tells us the ones that we've lost and the ones we've gained but it also sets them in an ecological context and it shows which types of habitat have benefited and, and indeed have suffered from the changes in, in our local, local flora.